All right, fellas, we're gonna give you a quick update from the garage here. You see, I got this snowblower broken in half. Got a new drive belt for it. Uh, I got everything cleaned up in there. Oil's changed, new spark plug. That half's ready to go. <laughs> uh, this half, got a new belt on it here. I've uh, been working on it, got things freed up, cleaned up. I've uh, been working on this damage under here. I got a new set of skid shoes on it, universal ones. And I made this like temporary cutter bar for it, but it's actually pretty solid, so I might just leave it. Uh, I made it out of that thick sheet metal I'm usually making side tins and stuff out of. And then uh, I want to take another piece of that and kind of wrap it around this and bolt it all together. Put a little strip in there and little bolts and stuff. And maybe some JB Weld just to make sure it's good and tight. Because I don't know if I can technically weld this stuff because it's pretty pretty thin, guys. So I don't know. I think I'll just clean it up and some JB Weld and bolts and nuts and we'll call it good. So that's where we're at with that. So it shouldn't be too bad. Only like a four or five inch wide strip under there. If I can get this up. Yeah, you can see how banged up it is, but... I just get her close and bolt her down and bolt her to this. I think that'll be a pretty solid fix. So that's where we're at with the snowblower. And then my brother stopped by last night with all this stuff for me to work on. Mini tiller, three weed eaters, and this hedge clipper. He wants me to get them running for him. So I'm gonna knock those out super quick so I can start working on. Uh, he also brought my 72 home to me. Got it out of that. Barney was storing to that. She's pretty, pretty clapped out, guys. <laughs> it's been uh, sitting in the barn for uh, a little over a year. Last June, June 2018, and went over to that new storage barn from the fairgrounds. And uh, I don't remember having this hubcap, but this hubcap's been sitting on the hood ever since, and left a nice big stain on there for me. So. So yeah, guys, he dropped everything off last night, so I just got off work, and I'm going to roll this outside and give it a bath and get her, you know, the once-over, see if I can get this thing to run. But the ultimate plan is to uh, get the 8-horse Briggs in there and get it ready to, I think I'm going to try plowing with this one this year. I'll put the eggs and the tri-ribs off the 69 back on this, and it should be my plow tractor this year. If that works out, I'll just leave the 69 over it. The farm where my brother stays, we can use it there. But uh, yeah, guys, here it is, back home. It's been a while since I seen this guy, so just checking her over. I got the air cleaner back here. I think I just threw that under there. Yeah, I had to push more air cleaner on it. So, all right, guys, that's it from here. We'll uh, get this thing cleaned up. I'll give you another video. It looks like after get her running, then we're gonna start doing the swap here. Get that Briggs in there. So, not much else to say, guys. That's pretty much it. I'm tired. So, like I said, I'll get going on cleaning this bad boy up. It smells funky too. So. Yeah. So, hi right, guys. There she is. She's home finally. I can take care of it. So, I'll get some more videos when I get more stuff done. So, all right, guys. We'll talk to you later.